Greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajeshwarna from NSTI Chennai. The topic of our today's class is safety practice on road signs and road signals. At the end of this class, you shall be able to list out the important three kinds of road signs and you are able to describe the marking on roads and also you are able to describe the traffic police hand signal and lighting signals and also you can able to list out the causes of collisions. Road safety is something important that has to be followed to ensure the safety of the operator of the vehicle, passengers and pedestrians. So now we are going to see about the road signs and the three important kinds of road signs. So the road signs, what it is meant for? Road sign or traffic signs are the sign erected at the side of the road or above the road to give information and to provide conditions of the road to the road users. There are so many road signs are available and these signs are collectively divided into three categories. They are mandatory signs, cautionary signs and informatory signs. First mandatory signs. Mandatory signs tell traffic what it must do rather than must not do. Example, stop, give way, one way, no entry, limits, prohibited, no parking signs. Violation of mandatory sign can lead to penalties. For example, in no parking area, if we parked our vehicles, it is a finable action. Next one is cautionary signs. Cautionary or warning signs are especially for safe. These signs are mean to warn the driver about the hazards or situations lying ahead on the road. It says what are do's and don'ts for pedestrians, cyclists, bus passengers and motorists. Cautionary signs are triangle in shape with red borders. Examples of cautionary sign boards are no hard and boards near the hospital and school zone areas. Next one is information signs. Information signs are especially benefit to the passengers and two wheelers. Informatory signs are mean to provide information about directions, destinations, distance etc. to the driver. Information signs are normally blue in color. Example for information signs, usually we used to see some signboards in the side of the road stating that petrol bank ahead in 500 meters from here or to the hospital direction or the direction of the destination where you want to go. Actually, this is most benefit for the first time traveler on the particular route. Marking lines on road. Marking lines are directing or warning to the moving vehicles, cyclists and pedestrians to follow the law. Road markings are lines on the road are white and yellow and each type of markings or lion has a special meaning. There are two types of marking, lane markings and border or edge lines. First one is lane markings. Lane markings are usually broken lines, white in color, dividing the road into lanes. Normally, each of having 3.5 meter distance. Single and short broken lines in the middle of the road allow the vehicle to cross the dotted line safely or overtake whenever required. Next one is border or edge lines. These are drawn at the road shoulders that means road sides with the solid lines usually in white or yellow colors. The alternate black and white lines painted across the road are called zebra crossing or pedestrian crossing. This is the place through which pedestrians used to cross the road. When moving vehicles approaching near the zebra crossing, be ready to slow down or stop to let people 
cross. Do not overtake in the vicinity of the pedestrian crossing. Traffic police hand signals. This hand signal is used to stop a vehicle approaching from behind. And this signal is used to stop a vehicle coming from front. This hand signal is for to stop vehicles approaching simultaneously from front and behind. And this is used to stop traffic approaching from left and wanting to turn right. And this signal is to stop traffic approaching from the right to allow traffic from left to right turn. This signal is used to allow traffic coming from the right and turning right by stopping traffic approaching from the left. And this signal is a warning signal closing all traffic. And this is beckoning on vehicles approaching from left. And this sign is for beckoning on vehicles approaching from right. And this beckoning on vehicles from front. Next one is traffic light signals. Traffic signal lights are systems that regulate the passage of vehicles and pedestrians, shows the status of stopping or moving to vehicles and pedestrians. Traffic signal is installed on standard pole or overhead signaling poles at intersections and crossings of road. In traffic light signal, generally there are three different colors to give signal that are red, amber and green. The red means stop. Wait behind the stop line on the garage way. Red and amber also means stop. Do not pass through or start until green glows. If green means you may go on if the way is clear. Take special care if you mean to turn left or right and give way to pedestrians who are crossing. And amber means stop at the stop line. If you want to cross, you may only go on if the amber appears after you have crossed the stop line or so close to it that to pull up may not be possible. Green arrow means that you may go in the direction shown by the arrow. If red means pedestrians do not cross. If both are in white, pedestrians cross now. If flashing red means stop at the stop line and if the way is clear, proceeded with caution. And the flashing amber means proceed with caution. The main causes of collisions. Three factors are responsible for collisions on the road sides. One is the condition of the road. Second one condition of the vehicles and the attitude of the drivers. Defects in road, vehicle defect, physical defects of driver or lack of skill of driver or lack of knowledge on road signals or wrong attitudes of the driver are the main causes of collisions in roads. This figure shows approximately appropriate causes of collision. In wrong attitudes such that avoid foolishness acts the wheel. Driving time is not a play time. Traffic rules and guidelines has to be set in place and has to be strictly followed so that the travel, road travel will be safe and the serious accidents and injuries can be avoided. I hope you all now understand what are the road safety signs, traffic signal signs and the traffic police hand signals and automated life signals and the list of causes of collisions. So follow the safety rules and stay safe. Thank you all and see you in our next video.